two charges, one of 2.5 micro coulomb charge and other of minus 3.5 micro coulomb charge are placed on the x axis, one at the origin and other at x is equal to 0 0.6 meter as shown in figure. Find the position on the x axis where the net force on small charge Q would be 0. Given the data, two charges, one charge is the Q1, this is the charge Q1. The value of the Q1 is the 2.5 micro coulomb. This is the charge Q1. The charge Q1 is placed at the origin and other charge Q2, this is the other charge Q2, Q2 is equal to minus 3.5 micro coulomb. Q1 is the placed at the origin and Q2 is placed at the 0 0.6 meters from the origin where Q2 is the 0 0.6 meter from the origin. First of all, the charge Q1 is equal to charge Q1 is equal to 2.5 micro coulomb. One micro coulomb is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs. So, 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb. And Q2 is equal to minus 3.5 micro coulomb that is equal to minus 3.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb. So, the distance between the two charges is the x is equal to 0 0.6 meters. First of all, let us take the one charge Q is placed at the x axis. So, the net force on the charge Q is 0. If in this condition, the net force on the charge Q in between the two charges does not exist in the 0, because the charge, one charge is the positive and another charge is the negative. So, the charge Q is placed in between the two charges the direction of the force of the two charges have the same direction. So, the net force does not zero. Let the charge Q must be placed on the left of Q1 or the right of Q2. In order for the two forces is to be opposite directions. But the but for the two forces to have equal magnitudes, Q1 must be close to the charge Q1. Since this charge has the same smaller magnitude, therefore the two forces can be combined to give the zero net force only. The region of the charge Q1, charge Q is placed to the left of the Q1. Let Q be the placed to the left of the Q1. This is the charge Q is placed to the left of the Q1, because the charge of the Q1 is smaller magnitude and the distance between the two charges is the small and the charge of the Q2 is the greater magnitude due to the Q1. So, the distance between the two charges is the greater value. So, the net force is 0 at left of the Q1. The distance between the charge Q and Q1 is the d and the distance between the charge q2 and q is the d plus 0 0.6 meters. So,
So, the net force is 0 at d to the left of the q 1. So, the force due to the q q 1 towards the negative x axis. This is the force due to the q 1 f 1. The direction along the negative x axis are left to the q 1 because the charge q is the positive. So, the force always away from the positive charge and this is the force due to the q 2 is the f 2. This is the f 2 towards the f q 2 because the charge q 2 is negative charge. So, the force always towards the negative. The net force at on q is f net is equal to f 1 plus f 2. The net force is 0. So, 0 is equal to f 1. f 1 the direction of the f 1 to the left. So, minus k q q 1 by d square and the force due to the q 2. So, the force is the f 2, the f 2 is the positive because the force direction along to the right side or positive x axis. So, taking the positive, the force due to the q 2 is the k q q 2 by the distance, the distance is the d plus 0 0.6 meters, d plus 0 0.6 meters whole square. From this equation, with, with k q q 1 by d square is equal to k q q 2 by d plus 0 0.6 meters whole square. We can cancel the both sides k q. So, q 1 is equal to d square is equal to q 2 by d plus 0 0.6 meter whole square. Cross multiplying the equation. So, q 1 into d plus 0 0.60 meter whole square is equal to q 2 into d square. From this equation d square is equal to q, q 1 by q 2 into d plus 0 0.6 meter whole square. Square root on both sides. So, d is equal to plus or minus q 1 by q 2 whole root into d plus 0 0.60 meter. So, d is equal to plus or minus substituting the value q 1 and q 2. q 1 is the 2.5 micro coulomb whole by q 2 is the 3.5 micro coulomb root into d plus 0 0.6 meters. d is equal to plus or minus root over 2.5 micro coulomb by 3.5 micro coulomb is equal to 0 0.845 into d plus 0 0.6 meters. From this equation, the d value taken the only positive. So, d is equal to 0 0.845 into d plus 0 0.60 meters. From this equation, d minus 
multiply the equation and take in the negative 0.845 d is equal to 0.845 into 0.6 meters from this equation d minus 0.854 is equal to 0. 1548 d is equal to 0. 0.845 into 0. 0.6 is equal to 0. 0.507 meters. From this equation, the value of the d is equal to 0. 0.507 meter whole by divide the value 0. 1548 the value of the d is equal to the value of the d is equal to 3.27 meters this is the value of the d the value of the d is negative axis or left of the charge q1 or d is equal to minus 3.27 meters along the x axis. The net force is 0 at minus 3.27 meters on the x axis.